Hey guys, what's up? Um, lost my last game, and they're giving me a little rest game here against a uh, guy's just under 2,000. Although honestly, I don't play this opening so well, so this might not be super easy. We will see. Um, A4 is the move. Ah, uh, something different happened than usual. I know. I don't know what exactly. Something's different here. Uh, I'm gonna do. Just very confused. Or I'm gonna go here. <laughs> I think bishop e7 is the move I'm used to. I, I can't quite remember. But like usually my bishop goes to b5, and and they do something weird like knight b8. Maybe I go bishop here anyway. I don't remember, I'll just do it. Uh, I'm totally confused right now. This is, this is not what I usually do. Somehow this seems good. I'll take with the pawn. He might go D C6. Alright then. This position's annoying. I don't really like these types of positions. Because he goes C5 and he has nice play. So I have to come up with a plan here. Well, g3 usually makes some sense. Try to go h4. But when he goes f6, it opens... I don't know. I just don't love this position. When in doubt, just make a waiting move. It's a useful move, king g2. Uh, I'll probably go h4 soon. Let's just do it now. Start to slowly, you know, make things happen over on that side of the board. I don't know if knight g5 is any good, but I'm going to do it. If he takes, I take with the h pawn, and I think I get some fun play. If he goes h6, I'm going to go knight h3, and then maybe knight f4, knight h5, and I get some attacking ideas over there. So I do have some plans now, at least. I got some plans for you, Grishka Novi. I think I'm only going to gain one point if I win, which means I will not go back to 2,500. Because he's 500 points lower than me. I think that's just one point. I did not even see that move. That's very interesting. So if I take, he goes d4. Hmm. I mean, I can... I can take on h5, h7, if I want. I don't think it's good. Uh, I take on h7, he takes queen h5, king g8, queen e5. It doesn't seem so great. Queen h5, h6. Um, probably I'm just going to take, play it safe like this. And then just move the king. Um... King h2, I suppose. Alright, so what's happening here? Material's even. If he takes on g5, I can still take with a pawn and maybe get some rook h1 action. But also I have ideas of knight to e4. The guy's playing playing solidly so far. I gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Uh, rook to d1. Let's do the f rook or the a rook. I'm gonna do the f rook just so that um I can keep my c pawn defended for a little bit longer. Knight e4 does look tempting at some point. Um, maybe next move. He has ideas of knight c7 to d5. d5 is also a good square. Here we go. Let's stick my knight here now. I assume he'll go knight to d5, and I'll go queen to e2. And again, as usual in, in my late, my play as of late, I'm really going to play for the, not play for the clock, but I'm going to try to make some quick moves at this point, because my feeling is the position is relatively balanced, and that the evaluation of the position is not going to change drastically based on the moves that I make at this point. So I'm going to just try to move quickly and keep my position intact, keep the evaluation similar to how it is now, and 
just get up a minute, a minute and a half, and then, you know, grind the guy down in time trouble. That seemed like a risky move. Uh, I don't know about this, what he, what he just did. If knight takes, he has to go rook takes, which is like a little risky. Um, here I am thinking when I said I wouldn't. Sorry, guys. Somehow this looks good. Let's just keep things simple. It's not. I mean, he gave me a weak pawn. Let's just just aim at it. Um, F4 is possible someday. I just worry that he can go E5 and, and dissolve his weak pawn. Now he does have some pressure on the F file, but my knight on E4 seems to have everything well defended. Am I not? Is it not true? Let's just put the king back and defend the pawn. Although now he has queen to G6, which is like a little annoying. I'm just going to take this now. So he doesn't have bishop takes E4. E well, now I have this, and he has to be careful or else I go c4. So he has to go back to f8. Look, pressure on e5. And I'm up 40 seconds on the clock. Ah, uh, this looks like a nice move. <laughs> so I'll play it. Hmm. I don't like knight f4 after knight e4, so I'm going to try to trade queens. I think I can win this endgame. I mean, he has a weak pawn on e6. That should be enough for me to win it with a skill edge and a 30 second edge in the clock. I believe very much in my chances here. He has some weak squares too on b5 and c4, so I can go knight d6 to c4 sometimes. I'm going to keep my knight on e4 though because it has a lot of potential. Well, hold on. I don't want to trade these knights, so I'm going to. Start with this move. I assume I'll go rook d8. I think my knight's strong because I have all these holes on b5 and c4 that I can utilize. Hence my hesitance to trade. Hmm, I mean, I'll just take a pawn off, right? Yeah, I'm just going to win now. I mean, I played a pretty good game this game. I kept things nice and calm and stayed ahead in the clock. And it means I'm going to win, most likely. Uh, rook e2. What's he going to do about the e-pawn? He'll go... Yeah, but now I win the pawn, I guess. I'll just do this. This should be... I'll just take the c-pawn off. I mean, he has no time left, and he's basically losing, so... This king can't come out now either, which is a big bit of a problem. Uh, I'm just going to screw around for a little bit. There's no rush, right? Oh, he can do that. Uh, now his king's totally cut off. This usually wins in such positions. Hold on a second. No, I just, I, I messed up a little bit. But basically, I, you do this, and then you just push the F1, and it's a theoretical win. Uh, no, F7 wins. I just got to watch out for stalemate. But other than that, no problems. And I win. Cool. Oh, I got two points. 2,500. I guess 500 is probably the, the cutoff to where you get two points instead of one. I like to be above 2,500. It makes me feel strong. It's very hard, though. It's hard to maintain because you have to beat 20, 2,300 to 3 out of 4 to be 2,500, which it's kind of tough. You know, they're, they're not chumps off the street. But the way I've been playing, it's possible. It's possible I can hover around here for a bit. Anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching. I decided to not put my openings in my um, video descriptions anymore just because, I don't know, if I get, when I play seriously, I don't want to make it so easy for people to just look it up by just searching Greg Shahadi and then my opening. So, anyway, thanks everyone for watching.
I will see you next time. Bye-bye.